Welcome to vlog number two. Uh, for those of you that watched the first vlog, clearly uh, it is slightly different. I have made this space my own uh, and I have officially fully moved in and settled in. This episode will be all about uh, a week in my life uh, in terms of uh, the fitness side of things, so uh, what I do uh, in, in the gym, what I do with my running, so my uh, Season Runs to 30 challenge, running minimum 5k every single day uh, until I turn 30, which is uh, later this year, but uh, I will probably extend that till next year, but uh, not confirmed yet, we'll uh, announce that closer to the time if I do, uh, and in terms of what I eat, and so on and so forth but uh that will be uh you know the rest of the episode i'll uh, record sort of monday to saturday next week um and we'll see we'll see what the week is like um it should be a fairly busy week i've got a lot on uh, for work but that doesn't give me the excuse to slack off at the gym so um, you'll hopefully join me in uh, in carrying on with my fitness journey so yeah by the way just been to watch the king's man uh, epic epic movie wow uh, pulls at your heartstrings in some scenes but if you haven't watched it go watch it I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone See you in the rest of the episode. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. I think it's around 6.45. Uh, as you can see behind me, Matt is set up. The uh, foam roller and the ball is out. Uh, and my running gear is all ready to go. So this morning, I have a brew, prep myself for a run, uh, prep the legs, the joints, hip flexors in particular, ankles, knees, all that sort of stuff, uh, get my kit on and then get my 5k done, it'll be just around 5k, there's a nice little loop uh, around camp, just outside of camp rather, uh, and uh, we'll get ready for the day. Yeah, so today involves the run this morning uh, and then work all day and this evening we will do our full session. So strength work as well as uh, conditioning work this evening. We'll see you the rest of the day.
and here is the liquid breakfast. So one scoop of uh, protein powder, one scoop of oats, quick oats for me, just to make it easier, and it's already kind of fine as is. Uh, one banana uh, and a spoonful of peanut butter and a sp half a spoonful of uh, Nutella just to give it a bit more taste and up the calories a little bit. But yeah, uh, nice and quick, nice and easy uh, morning breakfast full of nutrients. Uh, see you at lunch. And we're back in for lunch. Uh, today we've got a lovely chili con carne and uh, just some basic rice. Clearly, favourite bit of sriracha to go with it. Simple lunch, healthy, lots of vegetables and uh, stuff like that in there, but someone else cooked it for me.
Oh, so that is the workout complete. Uh, well, not quite complete. There was another element uh, to the workout, but uh, I ran out of time. The gym closes quite early in camp, unfortunately, so I had to cut it short, unfortunately. Uh, it was a midline uh, based workout in a way. Uh, but yeah, couldn't do it. Anyway, we move on. Um, We'll crack on again with tomorrow's workouts etc uh, but in the meantime I am gonna prep the dinner basically put it in the microwave and uh, show you guys what it is see you in a sec right so earlier in the video I mentioned uh, my meal prep for the week and this is what it looks like currently I got my week's uh, meals from a company called K Plan. It is a lovely lady called Kelly um, who has a website here in York and uh, operates from her house uh, in York. And she clearly cooks everything um, and sells it on her website. And I have the five day meal plan, which is two meals a day for five days, hence the uh, 10 meals here. And what I have is uh, that it looks pretty delicious this is the first time I'm trying this so um, hopefully fingers crossed it's going to be quite good I've got fruits uh, particularly blueberries and bananas they're my favorite but plums oranges any fruits really it's really good uh, milk is really important especially for my breakfast um, I have it with uh, porridge and uh, protein uh, either as a porridge in a bowl or in a uh, shake um, in the blender <coughs> It all works really, uh, but <clears throat> fairly essential. And uh, for for kind of dessert items, I suppose I've got this uh, um, protein off-brand protein ice cream. So go for Halo or or other kind of well-known brands. But uh, I've gone for uh, there's Aldi nearby, so I've gone for the cheap um, generic brand um, protein ice cream. Pretty good stuff. Um, also got my supplements, so uh, new to my supplement stack, there is uh, Strong Reds and Strong Green from BPN, Bear Performance Nutrition, um, and that's essentially just a uh, kind of like a, you know, like a green powder or a red powder that you get um, from kind of health shops. And because I run a lot, which ends up uh, meaning that I sweat a lot, uh, post runs, etc. I also add a little bit of electrolytes just to, feed me uh, some of the essential salts that I would have lost through sweating. And finally, uh, some of the frozen stuff that I also have um, to bolster some of my uh, some of the meals uh, in terms of calories, because I am trying to gain weight, I'm trying to get to about 75 kilos. I've also got some frozen stuff, so um, you saw some frozen chicken uh, gyozas earlier. These are uh, pork gyozas. Uh, but same same detail really chicken pork I just depends on what I want to have they also do these amazing uh, bowels again frozen but still tastes delicious uh, this one's frozen duck they also do pork I believe or beef um, but yeah all pretty good stuff um, I've also got some extra kind of um, uh, snacks and stuff like that uh, back there but that's kind of my main meals really so for dinner we have prawn stir fry in noodles it kind of looks more like a prawn noodle soup but they've called it a prawn stir fry and i am uh, adding to that these itsu chicken guys uh, i think i've got one two three four five six seven seven of these uh, just to increase my calories a little bit for the for the day but to add some flavor into that i'm going to add a little bit of um chili oil sesame oil clearly only a little bit just that's that's more for flavoring some soy sauce light soy sauce and some um white rice vinegar and that'll be to uh to flavor the dumplings and all that will be added onto the onto the noodles and on the noodles itself i'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha clearly my favorite and some kimchi very 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 good for the guts um 
fermented food in general is very good for your uh, gut and your digestive system in general so uh, I recommend highly recommended and whilst I'm eating that some motivation some some content being consumed in particular uh, Nick Bear highly 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 recommended amazing amazing channel uh, what a lad what a guy um, uh, runs uh, ultra marathons and all sorts uh, whilst also being a bodybuilder so um, that'll be that'll be my content consumption as well as some calorie consumption peace it's uh, Tuesday morning it's just gone seven and uh, clearly I am getting ready for my run. Um, for those of you that still don't know, uh, I started running, or well, I started a challenge called Season Runs to 30 on the 1st of May 2019. I believe, 2019? No, 2020. First uh, of May, 2020. And what it what it was was I was going to run a minimum of three miles, approximately 5k, every single day until I reached the age of 30 in um, November 2022. Um, so that was going to be a total of 925 days. Unfortunately, uh, because of my military commitments, I had to take a pause for a 15 day period. I think it was a 14 day period from the 1st of November to the 14th of November, uh, 2020. So I ran every day from the 1st of May until the 1st of November, uh, and then took a f uh, 15, 14, 15 day pause uh, and then have been running every single day uh, ever since. And a lot of people, when I tell them about this, ask me, are you not worried about getting injured? Are you not worried about having long-term um, issues because of it? And to be perfectly honest, uh, I don't think I will be injured. Um, for those of you that don't know him, there is a guy uh, called Hella Good, um, sp spelt how it sounds, Hella Good. Uh, he is a American guy, African American guy, um, and he's quite uh, active on Instagram. So please go search him. He has run every single day for over fifteen hundred days, I believe now, and. Whilst you get niggles, whilst you get little injuries here and there, as long as you look after yourself, do your mobility, do your stretches, do your recovery well, and all that sort of good stuff, um, your body can tolerate a lot more than what you think it can. Uh, and during his tenure, he also ran across America in a certain time period, um, running every single day. So that tells you a lot of what your body is capable of. Uh, so no, I'm not worried. Uh, clearly, I have to look after myself, I have to look after my joints, I have to stretch, I have to make sure I'm mobile, warm up, cool down, all that sort of good stuff. Eat healthy, uh, take care of my joints in whatever way possible. But um, it's a fairly doable, achievable thing. People just do it. Um, you just need to put your mind to it, and uh, it's easy enough. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go smash my 5k for today. Just heading to the gym now. Uh, work is done and it is pitch black, even though it's just gone 5 p.m. I think it's yeah, half five in the evening, but it is still pitch black and cold. But yeah, um, run this morning, so just the 
strength and conditioning this evening. Uh, I'm not sure what today's workout will be. Um, I need to look at the program in a bit, but uh, I'll show you what the gym is like uh, once we arrive, and then uh, we'll uh, walk you through the workout. Simple, really. Another day, another workout. Let's get it. This is a relatively stereotypical military gym. Um, but it's pretty well stocked, as you can see. The CV suite is up there, which I'll go to in a bit, just to warm up. And uh, the main weightlifting weights area gym is
Look at that. Spaghetti meatballs. Oh. And of course, a little bit of sriracha to go with it. Or a lot. Right, nice and chilled run today. Um, that's what's planned anyway. It should be around 6k, maybe slightly more. Um, but today's a rest day, so we are just stretching the legs and letting some of the lactic acid uh, flush through, getting some blood in there, and um, yeah, just getting, getting, keeping it moving, basically. I'll see you after the run. And that is me complete. Uh, today was approximately seven and a half K uh, up and down the river here in York, which was lovely. I uh, didn't quite manage to catch the sunset, but um, still a lovely run. It's well lit, so even in the dark, it's not that bad. And the views are amazing, so can't complain. Um, I've got a yearly planner here, stolen it from work, but shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I'm going to put the rest of my year down on there, put it on the wall and just add in things that's already planned and putting uh, and put in as and when things that uh, that I want to do, etc. And just so I can structure the rest of my year um, a little bit better. A little bit of work to do tonight, so the laptop's out and then some editing after that. Uh, but other than that, that is Wednesday. I will see you. In Thursday. Uh, this morning we had a cardio session for our unit PT so um, and I've done the run already so yeah this evening will be a bit of strength work I think it's clean and jerk programming today um, so yeah clean and jerk uh, see how that goes and do all the li little bits and bobs that's been um, programmed in and uh, just uh, go out there and have fun as always great serotonin hit afterwards and I'll be nice and hungry so dinner will taste good see you at the gym
I am done with work. I am done with the week. The laptop is shut down for the weekend and it is time again to get my 5k done. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed what my week has to offer. It is pretty boring, it is pretty simple, and it is pretty routine, monotonous grind. But that's what it takes, unfortunately, to keep getting better and better by the day. It is nearly the end of January. That is one month into 2022. Same me, but better. We'll crack on uh, every single day, just like I have for the last month, the last year, the last two years. But yeah, it's fairly simple, but boring. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.